local communities. What? Yeah, oh yeah. Let's talk about local communities. Hi guys, Claudia Jurowitz here with Groovy Take On episode. I have no idea, so let's move on. Um, I decided to talk about local communities today, and the reason is, I mean, why not? Local communities are great, unless they are not. Yeah, but in many cases they are great. Um, so I thought, let me do a little bit of research, or let me think about my own local community that I live in and see what they are offering. Let me look around my city that I live in and what they are offering to those communities. What can you do, how you can get involved in your local community to be able to make that community a little bit better? Why not? Because you and I, we can do something. Those are small things we could do, but all together we are doing quite a bit. Or we can do quite a bit. Uh, but first, let me start with uh, Captain Obvious' statement, which is, there are local communities that are thriving, they are great, they have uh, great resources, they have lots of people who are helping, they have not many major issues. And on the other side of that spectrum, you have uh, local communities that are struggling. It doesn't mean that they don't have awesome people, they do, but they also are struggling with many issues. Um, so that was Captain Obvious statement. Let's move on. And I'm not going to talk about those issues right now because that should be like totally different segment and more knowledgeable people should talk about that part. Mm, but what I would like to talk about is some of the resources where you can find information and uh, events or people who can give you more information about the local community and what is happening there. Because from the outside, you might think local community, <sighs> really? What? What do they do there? Well, a lot if you allow yourself to just go a little bit deeper into it, if you try to search for some information. I think that one of the disadvantages uh, to find out about your local community and get involved in whatever processes are happening there is that um, you're, you're living in um, one community, but you are going, you're driving to work that is several miles away from your home or your apartment. And suddenly you are taken from one community to the other, which means that you don't really know your own local community, period. Maybe over the weekends, but during the week time, not really. So sometimes we just don't have enough information to make the decision, oh my goodness, there's so many things happening here. But here's the good news. Why not to utilize social media to find out? Why not to check some of the local aid government agencies and state agencies to find out? How about ask other people, neighbors, oh my goodness, yes, talk to your neighbor. It's not that bad. Really, you can try um, and ask for information. So you have different options. So first on the list, let's start with the city hall, your local city hall. And this is great center where you can find some information. You can talk to some people. You can find out what city hall is doing for your community, for your city or your town. Uh, so you can find out a little bit about that. Um, they usually have um, fairly good websites with whole bunch of info with whole bunch of info you can you can utilize they are also in most cases on social media instagram twitter and facebook uh let's say you are not ready yet for city hall let's try local libraries i know right like a library, like, you know, those buildings you used to see in the movies, like there are libraries. Yeah, well, yes, they are still here. They exist and they are really awesome places because libraries, it's not anymore just about books, which probably I should not put the word just there because books are phenomenal. That's great. But library is not only about the paper copy books. Yeah, I should probably start with this one. It's also ebooks, audiobooks, DVDs, so you have access to movies, music, 
and and digital catalog um, in general. Um, but libraries, that's not only that catalog of books, music, and movies. Libraries offer, in many cases, different workshops, presentations, seminars on different topics. So it doesn't really matter how old you are. If you are uh, a kid, your parent can your parents can take you to to the library for I don't know readings for kids and different activities. If you are an adult and let's say you don't have access to internet, go to your local library. They will there they have computers with internet connection. You can you can use that. So if you don't have your own office you can go to the library and you can utilize that nice quiet fairly quiet space where you can work in a piece uh, and uh, and do whatever you need to do if you cannot afford coffee shop or your own office that's okay library is a perfect place for it and there's so much knowledge around you in those books why not to you know grab one read check something um if you are older adult um they offer several presentation seminars and workshops for um, for people 65 and better. Uh, if you have problems to setting up an application on your mobile device, uh, because a lot of libraries they have access to they they have applications that you can utilize to have access to those audio and ebooks. Um, and if you don't know how to get that app on your mobile device, you can just go straight to the library and those people they are wonderful and they will help you with with that as well you can check what events are offered in um, in your local library so not only city hall but also libraries check those libraries they are in many locations um why not to try this what's next on the list senior centers and ymca centers so youth centers and senior centers if you would like to help um, either kids or older adults, search for YMCA centers around your community, around your town, or search for, if you would like to help people 65 and better, look for senior centers. Um, great opportunity to, to become a volunteer and help others a little bit as much as you can or as little as you can, but still, it, it, you know, helping is good. Just being kind to one another, it's, it's a good thing to do. Um, um, so why not to, you know, try? So senior center, YMCA centers, give it give it a try. Another thing on my list would be local fire department or police department. I know. It's incredible. They are awesome people over there as well. I pretty much, I, probably you already noticed, I love people. I mean, people in those different agencies, because those are good people, good employees, people who would like to try and help the community, who are working for the community. So, yeah, I do appreciate all of them. <laughs> so fire department, police department. Um, the nice thing is that police department and fire department, they offer different volunteering opportunities. So if you would like to be part of that fire department or police department, law enforcement, uh, as a volunteer, they have different options. I will give you my example. I am a volu I volunteer at the local crisis response program that belongs to a fire department. And I found out about this volunteering opportunity through the city hall. Yeah, they used to have, I think they still have something called a City Academy, if I'm not mistaken. And they were offering information about different departments um, that are in a city hall. And uh, I could learn a little bit more about my community and the city hall in general. You have the option to become a volunteer uh, for fire or police department. And that's awesome, too. Okay, what's next? <laughs> what's next on the list would be recreation centers, parks and recreations department unit, call it as you want. Uh, they might have information about different events that are happening in your town or your local community. So many options. Just look around, see any government building and just see what you can do <laughs> if they have some information desk you can get some grab some information but, but you know what don't worry let's say you don't have time you absolutely are are out of time free time you have no time to go to local city hall because when you're done with your work it's already closed i get it no worries try to use social media 
And you know what? Let's jump straight into the Facebook environment because uh, there are several different local communities uh, on Facebook. They usually are in the form of Facebook page or Facebook group that you can join and you can ask questions. Those are really wonderful groups where you can find different information. So, for example, if you are looking for a local well-established plumber, Ask people on Facebook group and there you will have a dozen of different um, recommendations and referrals. Why not to try it? Uh, so Facebook groups is a great go to source of any local community based information that or resources you might think about. If not Facebook groups, don't worry, try Facebook events. There is a feature called events and it's available on Facebook. Um where you can find different events happening in your location, in your area. And some of those events are um, hosted by your local communities, um, by city hall or different nonprofit or profit organizations, businesses. Okay, and, and you can just check which one is right for you and enjoy that with your family and friends. So another great opportunity. Utilize that Facebook. There is a chance that you already are on Facebook. Why not to get and check that? That Facebook feature called events and also Facebook groups based on your location. Again, in a Facebook search option, you can look for Facebook groups that are near you or just simply type the name of your community or the name of your city or town. Uh, or neighborhood and um, and see if you can find any Facebook groups um, that are uh, from that location. Great, great, uh, great place to start. And, and search for something. Also, when it comes down to Instagram and Twitter and as well, Facebook, those uh, city halls, communities, neighborhoods, uh, they are on those platforms and they are sharing a lot of information, pictures and videos and whatnot. So you can jump into the comment section, ask some questions. Most of the time, people are really answering to those questions right away. So you will be up to date. You will know what's going on. And next time you can make the decision, either you want to go in and Enjoy whatever event or maybe get involved because there are some volunteering opportunities as well. All right. You would like to help some more. Um, where can you help? So we know you can volunteer at the different senior center, youth centers, play another great place for, I mean, volunteering opportunities might be uh, your local hospital. Oh, I know. I know that this is a little bit out there idea. But hear me out. Uh, local hospitals, they, they need volunteers as well. Volunteers who will provide information for the, for visitors, information, support. They will talk to you. They will point you in the right direction. They will help you to get from the parking or from the hospital to the par hospital parking. Um, there are so many different opportunities available out there. So go to your local, contact your local hospital um, and ask if they need that help, that volunteering, or maybe they, or ask if they are offering any volunteering opportunities and see if this is something for you. Think about that. So again, local hospitals on the list. But okay, okay. Hospitals, that's not for you. Senior youth centers, not for you. Think about animal shelters. You love your dog, you love your cat. Why not to help? Um, there are several different animal shelter shelters around your area. Find, Google them. Just Google animal shelters near you. Um, see where you can help. See how you can help. And maybe get involved in those animal shelters near you. Again, you are helping your local community. You are helping others, human beings or animals. Why not to do that? Okay, I rest my case. Let's say the worst case scenario. You don't have time at all. You don't have free time. You are only over the weekends at your house and you just no, you cannot give that time because you don't have it. And that's absolutely understandable. It's OK. But still, you can help your local community, <laughs> maybe not as a volunteer, but but through the donations. So think about that. You can, Of course, the easiest way is you can donate money. Of course, find nonprofit organizations near your location, near your local community. Then just pick and choose which one is the closest to your heart and um, if you are willing to help somehow throughout through the donations. 
um, system. And the donations could be like money, clothes, food, um, used furniture, used goods, um, whatever whatever nonprofit organization might need. Just ask, see what, how you can help, how, what kind of donation you can you can make to help your local community. Again, maybe not by donating time as a volunteer, but maybe donating other things you can support your local community. And uh, why would you want to support your local community? Probably I should start with that question all the way at the beginning of this video. But when you think about that, why not? Local community, this is the foundation where we live. Why not to support that? So kids have place to grow up and adults have great place to relax, enjoy life, be together as a community. So that local community, in my opinion, is a crucial, <laughs> crucial unit in our life. So why not to help it? Why not to build that community together so you feel fulfilled to some extent that, hey, you participated in something greater. And um, and you can see that it's growing. You can see that it's beautiful. And again, there are different types of local communities, communities that are thriving, communities that have maybe more money. I don't know. And they have not that many problems. And on the other hand, you have communities that are struggling, that they need a lot of help. Try to figure it out how you can participate in life of that community. How can you help volunteer or donate? Just look around, see, make a comment, search for it, ask other people, talk to your neighbor. I know that's a weird one, talk to your neighbor, but at least say hello next time. Unless your neighbor is your best friend, so then it's absolutely okay would be all for today all about the local community but conversation it just just begins so um please uh, share your comments down below um share your experience uh, tell me a little bit more about your local community are you involved um are you volunteering in whatever programs available in your local community are you planning to do something um what's your experience do you like your local community or not so much maybe you don't know your local community that well and are you willing to learn a little bit more or you know it's not for you please share uh, um, your experience what do you think about your local community thank you so much for watching and see you next time